Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today, we are going to make nougat blanc. My name is Lionel and I cook traditional Provence dishes, all vegan. Provence is the southern region of France reputed for its fragrant food. For each video, I choose traditional Provence dishes that I adapt and I modify to make them 100% plant-based. This nougat is made without eggs and without honey, but it looks and tastes exactly like the traditional one. The texture is just amazing and the flavors of the roasted almonds and pistachios will perfume the air of your home, reminding you constantly your nougat is there waiting to be eaten. What a treat that you can now enjoy without the usage of products from animal origin. Life can be better, right? A bit of background history. Nougat is one of the 13 Provençal desserts traditionally served during the Christmas Eve dinner. Nougat origins are lost in time, but we know that the Romans were cooking honey with walnuts to make a sweet called nougatum. In the mid of the 17th century, the almond tree was introduced in the region of Montélimar that ultimately became the manufacturing center of nougat and walnuts were eventually replaced by almonds. Nougat is relatively easy to make, but you will have to prepare all your utensils and ingredients before starting as the caramelization of the sugar requires attention. So let's start. Let's have a look at the ingredients and the utensils you will need to realize this recipe. I've listed down below the list of ingredients and utensils as usual in the description box. So let's have a look at the ingredients that you will need to realize this nougat blanc. 280 grams of caster sugar, 250 grams of glucose syrup, 40 milliliters of water, 300 grams of almonds, 60 grams of pistachios, 250 milliliters of chickpea water, a quarter of teaspoon of cream of tartar, two half a size azyme pepper sheets. So now let's have a look at the utensil that you will need to realize this recipe. A stand mixer with the whipping attachment, a butcher knife or a bread knife, a rubber spatula, a set of measuring spoons, a wooden spatula, a baking tray lined with parchment paper, a knife with a long blade, a pen knife, a candy thermometer, or any thermometer that can be used for cooking, a small bread cutting board, a medium-sized saucepan, a square or rectangle hollow mold, approximately 15 to 20 cm. This is a mold that are normally used to press tofu. If you don't have this type of mold, you can still use cake mold that you will have to line with parchment paper to keep the nougat from sticking inside. Start by reducing the chickpea water. In the saucepan, pour the chickpea water and cook it on medium-high heat. Let it boil for approximately 10 minutes until it reduces by half. Use the measuring cup time to time to verify the quantity of liquid remaining. When the cup is half filled, you are done. Put aside the reduced chickpea water and let it cool down completely. Start by preheating your oven to 150 degrees Celsius. In the meantime, prepare the azyme sheets to cover the interior of the mold. I use a pen knife to cut the azyme sheets. You need to cover the hollow bottom and the four walls of the mold. I cut the side parts as large as the azam sheet allows me to, so mine were around 6 to 7 cm high. You don't know how high the mixture will go, so it's better to have more than less. You will trim the excess when the nougat will be finished. Layer the cut azam sheets into the mold. 
keep the top sheet aside that you will put at the very end of the recipe. Place the mold ready in your working station. It's time to prepare the food processor. Add the cream of tartar, then the reduced chickpea water, and put the food processor on standby. In a saucepan, pour first the sugar, then the glucose syrup, and finally the water. Put on medium heat. Mix well until the sugar is well dissolved and the mixture is homogeneous. Break the sugar lumps if there are any. Then pour the almonds and pistachios in the baking tray lined with a parchment paper. Roughly mix and spread them evenly. They will roast better with spacing between each other. Place a tray in the oven and let the nuts roast for 10 minutes. The nuts will need to be hot when finally added to the mixture. That approximately the time it will take to cook the caramel. The caramel should start to bubble now. Give it a mix and then let it cook. Now the bubbles are becoming bigger in size, so plunge your thermometer to control the temperature. It should be around 100 degrees Celsius. When the sugar syrup reaches 120 degrees Celsius temperature, start the food processor on high speed. You are preparing a meringue. When the sugar syrup reaches 150 degrees Celsius, Cut the heat and bring the saucepan near the tank of the food processor. The meringue has formed and is fluffy and firm. The soft peak stage is enough to reach. Slow down the food processor to speed 1. Now we are going to pour the sugar syrup very slowly to make an Italian meringue. Pour the sugar syrup very slowly and intermittently. Try to avoid touching the walls of the bowls and the whip when you pour the sugar syrup. To avoid splash and to also avoid the sugar syrup to coat the walls of the bowl and accumulate there. When you have finished pouring the sugar syrup, put the food processor on high speed for approximately one minute. Turn off the oven and take out the baking tray and place it near the food processor. Stop the food processor and lift the whisk. Lift the parchment paper and pour the hot almonds and pistachios into the hot Italian meringue. Then start the food processor at low speed to mix the dry fruits for a few seconds. When the almonds and pistachios are mixed to the Italian meringue, Remove the whisk. Then take out the mixing bowl and bring it to your working station. Pour the nougat mixtures into the mold that you previously had layered with a zyme paper using the wooden spatula. Use the angled spatula to scrape the nougat from the wooden spatula. It is very sticky, so just be patient. When all the mixture is inside the mold, place the azime sheet to cover the nougat top. Use your fingers to flatten the surface and make it stick to the nougat. You can also use a flat object of your choice to even up the surface. Place the nougat in the fridge overnight where it's going to firm up. After the nougat has spent one night in the fridge, take the mold out. With the knife, cut along the edges to unstick the nougat parts that might have leaked and are sticking to the walls of the mold. Flip the mold and push to extract the nougat.
then trim out the azim sheets that are peeking out. Now you can start to slice the nougat into 4 cm strips. Just be careful, the nougat is hard and sticky. Go slow. The butcher knife allows you to add pressure in the blade to cut it easily, but you can also use a bread knife that gives good results. You can transfer the nougat strips into a serving plate. So you can cut all the strips into cubes or keep some bars as they are and offer them to your friends wrapped in parchment paper. It's all up to you. Et voilà, your nougat is ready, ready to be eaten. Look how beautiful the colors are. Unfortunately, the video can't really show you the chewiness of this nougat, but I guarantee that when you will make it, it's really an exceptional product. Try it and then you will see. And you let me know. Keep the nougat in the fridge in an airtight box. It can keep for weeks, but you would have certainly eaten it before that. Enjoy! So, let's try this nougat and see how it tastes. Wow, so the texture is, is very chewy. Mm. It's very chewy. Mm. The texture of the, the meringue is very soft. The crunch of the almonds and the pistachio that have been uh, Roasted in the oven is just unbelievable. It just tastes exactly like traditional nougat made with honey and egg white. Mm. It melts in the mouth, it's so soft, it feels creamy. The contrast between the Italian meringue and the crunch is just so delicious. Mm. I love it. Keep it in the fridge, in an airtight box. If you want to make a uh, harder nougat, you have to cook the sugar to 160 degrees Celsius. That level of sugar cooking will make the nougat just harder. I hope you will try this nougat and then you will have a blast because it's really, really, really good. I hope you like this video. If you want to see more content like this, you just know what to do. Subscribe, like, and click the notification bell to be notified for the next videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. From now, bye, and then see you next time.